In these videos, the workflow I'll be demonstrating is fairly typical for how many projects start. We're going to assume that the civil team has some basic information about the project site, but needs to create a design intent model rather quickly. For that, we'll be using InfraWorks to create a base model, do some rough grading for the project site, sketch out some preliminary roads, add an intersection and a tunnel for underground parking. We'll then transfer that information to Civil 3D where more detailed design work can take place. While the civil engineer is working on a preliminary site design, the architect is also beginning to develop the preliminary design model for the new building, using the property limit lines they've received from the civil engineer as a boundary. At some point, these two worlds will have to come together, and this is where shared coordinates comes into play. Shared coordinates helps keep the architectural, structural, and mechanical models in sync and properly geolocated with the civil 3D design models. This is important because every project needs to be tied into a coordinate system so it can be properly built in relation to its physical location on the Earth. As you follow along, if you find you're missing the shared reference point tool for Revit, have a look at the product updates page of your manage.autodesk.com account. You can either do a search for the shared reference point tool in the product updates section, or you can find it in the extensions section of the available downloads for Revit. It's important to note that the shared reference point tool installs automatically with Civil 3D. The shared reference point tool simply makes setting up shared coordinates fast, easy, and can be done in 30 minutes or less. This example will utilize the fictional architectural model for the reimagined Snowden Towers in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. Let's get started.